here and I want to show you another project I'm starting on. I have these two um, photo books I had for a long time. They have all my, you know, best photos from the time I started my family. So it has all my kids during their childhood in it. And well, the covers are getting old. They also never match to start with. And this one, my dog actually got a hold of and ate up the corner. He also messed up some of the pages inside. So I went ahead and actually took them apart. Of course, again, before I thought about making a video of it, these are the type of albums which held together with these uh, steel screws. So I took them out. So now I can take all these papers out, which I will do. They are all in fairly good shape on this one. They look pretty much the same from the inside, but the outside is completely different and they're getting kind of old and I want to uh, redo the outside. Um, because of my dog having chewed up some of the pages, as you can see, I um, found another photo book at a second hand store, uh, but it happens to have the same inserts. So I will also um, repair that. Let me take them apart.
those books are done and I put all the photos back in. I was also able to replace the broken sleeves, so that's all in order. Now there is part one and part two because these photos are in chronological order. I did not make the books exactly the same, mostly because I didn't have four matching pieces of craft paper. But at the end, I quite like it that they're a little different and yet matching. I also opted to use some linen color on the cover to make it go along with the spine a bit better. And of course, on the inside, I kept the original lining because it holds the screws to hold the pictures and then I didn't want to mess with that. Um, but the corners were an addition, uh, originally mostly to cover up and my little doggy chewed on it, but then I decided to do all four corners on both books to make it matching. Uh, it took me a little while to do this, mostly because I, I gave all the different steps a lot of time to dry because I wanted the books to be really sturdy because they are a bit heavy duty big books. Now these books will be in my living room. Um, because they really have the best photos I had. I still have a whole nother box, um, but those photos are either poor um, shots, either bad camera or bad cameraman. So they are still there for some project, but these are really the best photos we have until the digital age came along. And um, so I like to have them available. My kids like to look at them and sometimes when we get visitors who don't know my family very well, they don't mind to look through a couple of folders who are nicely organized and uh, it doesn't take too long. So um, yeah, I like to have them around. I hope this video gave you some ideas. Bye bye for now.